In this series on Ghana's foremost climate scientist, Professor Leonard Amekuji, we've made you know how a tragic event he witnessed in his early teens urged him to pursue climate science. We've told you also about how he managed to be the first to extract nitrous oxide radicals from the atmosphere. Again, we told you about his contribution to Ghana's rainfall forecasting. So, I guess that is all, right? Now, knowing how malaria is transmitted is crucial in the disease control. For a while, the Liverpool malaria model has been one of the formidable models for this purpose. However, it took care of only large water bodies. But we are all aware how a small pool can be a great source of malaria outbreak. This is where Professor Leonard Amakuji entered the scene. This, we set up stations. I have a station at Owabi. Owabi, I have a full weather station. And then uh, continue to put a station uh, at uh, Agogo and then uh, put uh, a station also uh, at airport and then at the same time I expand my station uh, to also uh, cover uh, uh, Emina, Emina to have a station because the hospital at the time we were working with is that we were looking at uh, Emina hospital we're also looking at Nkawye uh, we're also looking at uh, Agogo hospital and then looking at uh, Emina, uh, these were the hospitals that we were working with, and then Menshia. So we expected to, uh, the uh, station at the airport, uh, uh, which, which is close to Menshia. Uh, give uh, we would like to we we, we use the data from uh, the airport for Menshia, Agogo. We use so these were the things. And around the time, the model that we were, were using was called Liverpool Malaria Model. And this model, if you look at it, the model really uh, was having uh, a model that uh, was developed not within the African uh, context. So the malaria, the understanding of malaria by then the European colleagues who really developed the model model they the, the model was taking care of only a large uh, volume of water i mean you can imagine the model only looking at uh, malaria coming coming from our main rivers for example around uh, 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 if you are not uh, around the streams and rivers uh, maybe are around uh, river pra volta and all others but as we we lived in this place we are very much aware that even uh, within the community, a very small water bodies are likely to uh, be sources for malaria. Uh, so, uh, uh, we, uh, when these ideas we started uh, having tarashing, uh, it was very clear that we need to uh, modify the model. Uh, in fact, the, uh, so then we uh, decide to work on uh, with a colleague from Italy. Uh, uh, at the time he was in, uh, he, uh, and he, I think he's still there, in uh, uh, ICTP. Uh, the ICTP is the International Center for Theoretical Physics. He lived that institution in Trusty. So, uh, so all these ideas started at one line. So we started that, okay, we need to carry our measurement activity in Kumasi. Possibly that will help uh, us develop uh, a best hydrological base for the uh, then the Liverpool, but later on the idea changed that the, uh, the, uh, Adrian Tompkins, uh, who is in ICTP, I mentioned, uh, this time wants to look at a new model altogether, and then he came out with the idea of vetri, and so he, uh, the vetri model was initially uh, developed, uh, taking idea what we have shared. But in fact, the pool size that was used was also uh, very quite cost. So therefore, we, we needed a, a ground base to really val validate this. If as a result, we finally de we developed the hydrological base for the vetry, and this hydrological base actually take into consideration uh, a true information, true measurement base uh, for uh, uh, measurement base that have 
information as uh, water temperature from from the ground we also looked at the ponds that we uh, size during that time we fed this uh, water sent to the kccr kccr uh, also checked and they are able to have uh, uh, provide information to us whether uh, this uh, have a uh, la malaria, um, uh, mosquito larvae or or not and so based on all this we, we finally came out to develop what we call the uh, the pond uh, hydrological scheme for vetri we also developed the temperature uh, water temperature scheme for the for the vetri uh, that has and, and and then we these schemes were so validated and then and then when implemented in vetri tend to uh, uh, compared very well with uh, uh, observations from the hospital and even around when we simulated the disease. So eventually uh, means that we have contributed extensively in, uh, in veterinary uh, development and currently as I speak veterinary is uh, one of the top malaria uh, uh, early warning detecting uh, tool that is being used across Africa. You see, we, are, we have uh, the, the scheme being, uh, the model being run in East Africa, Uganda, uh, you, you have it run in Australia, you have it even run in all, uh, some Asian countries.